I think it's a testament to your era of Iron Maiden that those guys still frequently play songs from your era. There is still in the set, which is great. Do you do you ever foresee maybe per, perhaps in the future ever maybe guesting with Iron Maiden or 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 having you know the Blaze Bailey band having you guys you know per, perhaps on the on the same bill or or, or sharing the stage with those guys? Uh, I think it's down to you. So uh, to start the campaign for that, <laughs> right. I to be honest, I'm totally open, and I just think it will be so much fun for fans. I hope that nobody would start, you know, having a punch up or anything like that. I just think it'd be so much fun. I, I think maybe if there's ever a 50th Iron Maiden anniversary, something like maybe they might think, oh, well, we'll do that. Because Halloween did a great one where they had uh, two singers. So I think Iron Maiden, you, you could have each one of us doing a couple of singers. And I've done gigs with other singers with Udo and Tim Ripper Owens and Mike with Sarah and with Doogie White uh, where it's been so much fun as singers to to you know take different things so yeah I'm open to it at the moment this year it's a crazy year because some of my gigs are celebrating 30 years since I joined Iron Maiden and I'm doing a lot of songs from my X Factor and Virtual Eleven album in that set. And um, we've just been to Spain and Ireland and we had some sold out shows. It was absolutely insane compared to, you know, what where I've been. And um, yeah, I love doing those old songs. And, you know, a big part of it is my voice has changed, grown, I, I like to think. And so the... The man I was then, I was in my thirties then when I sang those songs, did those albums. Now I'm a I'm a middle aged man with a lot more life and live. I interpret those songs differently, and I feel like it's meeting old friends. Mm. It feels really good, and of course, those songs have been around so long. Fans know them better than me, <laughs> so they sing along. It's incredible. Absolutely. And our year this year is between the Circle of Stone tour and the 30th anniversary tour. Some of the bigger festivals and some promoters want this and that. So it's a very exciting year. Awesome, yeah, yeah. I, how cool would it be to have uh, you and Bruce, you, you, you know, you doing like kind of, kind of you doing the lower octave or the lower harmony, and him doing the high. Oh, I'd love, it. I'd love it. <laughs> I'd absolutely love it. And you know, I already sang on stage with Bruce. Yeah. When we, uh, in Wolf Spain, we used to, uh, you know, clamber on the stage when they did the Seventh Son and everything. And I did Daughter to the Slaughter with Bruce in Brixton. I was there singing with I Maiden then. Mm -hmm. uh, I managed to get the mic off Bruce. Bring your daughter to the slaughter. <laughs> oh, man, it's so much fun. So, and I love Bruce as well. He's a great guy and he's always been very, very kind to me, very, very generous it, with his time before Iron Maiden, during Iron Maiden, and after with my solo career. He's always been really helpful. So he's a lovely guy. I think we'd get on really well doing that. <laughs>